Hey free woman, welcome back to Free World Channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that now. Click the bell icon if you want to get my videos instantly sent to your inbox as soon as I upload them. So today's video was fairly highly requested, a response to Dr. Gray, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre, not the rapper Dr. Dre, the dermatologist Dr. Dre on YouTube who has over 600,000 subscribers. I'm like, I've never heard of her until some of you free women came over and told me you wanted a response to what I eat in a work day. And I did a little bit of research. I did a little bit of research on her, had a look at a few of her videos and found some definite red flags. And there's a lot of people saying that she has anorexia, that she's using veganism to hide her eating disorder. So we're gonna talk all about that today. So if you want to see more of these videos, definitely give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can give it a thumbs down, just vote on it if you wanna see more of these videos. So let's check it out, hey? What I eat in a workday dermatologist, Dr. Dre. Hey guys, oh, by the way, welcome back to it. She is a dermatologist. Let's remember that, okay? That does not make her an expert in nutrition in any way at all. And anybody who has doctor before their name, that does not mean they know diddly squat about nutrition. Usually they don't at all. So let's just keep that in mind. She is a doctor of the skin, not of nutrition. Okay another what I eat in a day video. You all really seem to like these videos from me. So I'm thinking of doing them, I don't know, on a monthly basis. This particular day was a Monday work day. I had a lot of things going on. So I'll show you everything that I ate and drank on this particular busy Monday. Uh, you know I like my drinks. <laughs> Speaking of drinks, I'm just drinks. She likes the drinks. <laughs> That's okay. Just rehydrating here with some water. Um, I went for a run this morning. And I like to put uh, a serving of this Natural Calm uh, into my water in the morning. It's a magnesium supplement. It's supposed to help with sore muscles, but I really just... Okay, so, all right. Knowing what I do know about her from a bit of research and actually just seeing her appearance, this, to me, definitely spells a problem. I believe that she's using this Calm as a laxative, okay, because... It's, it's commonly used as that. And the way she is presenting herself, she is quite thin, okay? Like worryingly thin, all right? It's from calorie restriction. You know, I might be lean myself, but I'm having 2,500 plus calories a day most days. So it's definitely not from under eating. It's just from long-term eating the right way and humans are meant to be lean. But the under eating look definitely is different and it is a bit of a problem here. I can definitely see that there's an issue going on here and this calm can be used as a laxative. So when you're not ingesting enough calories, you're not getting enough fiber, so your colon is just not gonna be as efficient. You know, it's just not gonna be moving. So a lot of these people with ED and anorexia, they have to use these laxative aids and I've had issues with laxatives in the past okay and I've also had anorexia so trust me I know there's a lot of tips and tricks to keep you under eating and to keep your bowels moving as well just enjoy the taste of it definitely follow the recommended serving sizes though don't consume too much of it it could upset your stomach Mm. Yeah, I just like the taste. Definitely. And I mean, if you have anorexia, you really are putting yourself at risk of these mineral deficiencies, nutrient deficiencies. And if you have a magnesium deficiency or potassium, you are risking heart failure. You're risking a heart, um, a heart attack, basically. So she could be thinking about this, and that's why she's supplementing as well. Taste of it. And I also oh, no. require my... She has the mushroom coffee mix, this freaking another Sigmatic addict. This crap is just like everywhere. I, I'm just so disappointed in the YouTube community, in the vegan, the plant-based YouTube community. It's just like everybody is pushing these drugs. This is what it is, pushing these drugs on their viewers. You know, your viewers trust you. Like, I know you trust me, okay? I know you trust my recommendations. So I'm not just gonna take money for some food product and just push it on you. You know, just change my recommendations based on who's sponsoring me in that moment. And you just see this all the time on YouTube. I mean, like fully raw Christina. She's meant to be fully raw and she's recommending this Sigmatic tea or coffee. Like, girl, it, it's not raw. 
You know, like you I <laughs> just please explain in the comments what is she doing? So this is really disappointing to see her pushing it on her viewers. Coffee. I love the Four Sigmatic ground mushroom coffee. I've been doing that on my French press. Today's video is sponsored by Four Sigmatic. They are currently uh, of course. Of course, it's sponsored. It's sponsored. So this whole video, she probably just made the video so she could, you know, because she's being paid. You know, it's just really disappointing. Only having their um, annual winter sale, so it is a fantastic time to stock up for those of you who are for Siggy enthusiasts like myself. No, addicts. Drug addicts. Let's just be real, okay? Let's just be real. That's what it is contains caffeine, which is a drug. It contains this chaga, which is also a mushroom drug, essentially, because it gives you a slight poisoning effect, basically, that gives you this, like, stimulant high. This is not food. This should not be going into your bloodstream, okay? And we definitely shouldn't be just pushing it on our trusting audience. I had someone leave a comment this morning that I wanted to quickly read out. Freely made me go vegan 70 years ago. You made yourself go vegan. I just shone the light, but thank you. Um, best decision in my life. She's, the only, she's one of the only influencers on YouTube that try not to sell products to us every single day. She's just trying to change the world and make it a better place for people and animals while others get sponsored for products they do not even stand for. Thank you, Jill. And this is so, so true. I'm seeing it everywhere. YouTube has just become this big old marketing platform where no one really cares about pushing an important message, you know, getting the truth out there and helping animals and people, like genuinely helping people. And I will never sell out like that. I understand people have to make money, but when you're putting up food videos and you're saying, oh, I love this coffee or I love this product or whatever, or this tahini, but you're, you're selling it to your audience, you're obviously biased. You know, be very wary of these people. Be very, very wary of their recommendations because they're making the money off these products. Okay. Uh, you definitely want to stock up. This Sigmata stuff is so expensive too. I think it's like 20 bucks for a bag or something. It's like ridiculous, you know? So don't buy into this fad. Down. I mentioned it doesn't taste like mushrooms, but the mushrooms, they almost elevate the flavor of the coffee in such a unique way. I don't know what it is. So I did a little bit of research on this Sigmag tea and I found these reviews, which I find very interesting. You know, a lot of these companies, they just have such a huge marketing budget that they potentially buy reviews. You know, they're obviously paying her for her review. Is it honest? You know, it's all about like how much money you're getting paid People are being bought, that people's opinions are being bought. And there's a lot of unhappy people, okay? I looked at some of the Amazon reviews. Chaga mushroom at risk. This person's just saying Chaga mushroom only found one in 20,000 birch trees and thanks to products like this that are being over harvested to the point of near extinction. Yes, these mushrooms can actually go extinct and these products are helping that happen. So this is something to consider. But a lot of people are saying it's just instant coffee. Okay, it's just this fancy packaged instant coffee from China, literally. Probably the worst and most expensive instant coffee I've ever tasted. Skip this one. This person's talking about getting hypoglycemic effects from it because the chaga mushroom can do that, which is definitely something to consider because we have, a, you know, a lot of people with blood sugar issues. It's not from fruit, that's for sure. Um, Tim Ferriss, he recommended on his podcast, so a lot of people came here and they're like, this is crap. You know, this does not taste good. This person's like, this tastes like ass. Brought a pack, tastes like crap, basically. Tastes like instant coffee. And there's just more and more and more of these. More of these, like, unhappy um, customers. This person's like, this product contains carcinogens and the warning is not displayed in the advertisement. This is something also you need to consider, okay? This is not a food. You don't need this in your diet. This is actually, this um, coffee actually contains acrylamides and lead. To the point, it contains so much lead that they were in violation of this law, Californian Health and Safety Code Section Proposition 65. Okay, so they were found to have violated this and not actually told consumers on the package, warned them that it contains, um, 
lead amounts that exceed the safe dosage and also acrylamides which are cancer causing okay so it's like the burnt bit on the toast if you burn the toast and you're scraping that off and you're basically eating that you know it can be compared to that this is acrylamides this shouldn't be you know ingested daily and sometimes several times a day so people are getting a big whack of acrylamides and potentially lead here and there's no safe level of lead in your blood I've talked about this before you shouldn't be having any of it and sure you might find it in some food products here and there okay but this is food okay you you can't avoid eating but you can avoid having these stimulants these drugs and you see here for Sigmatic coffee mushroom coffee the one that this Dr. Dre is actually recommending so it contains they were forced to put a warning label on this coffee you know consume at your own risk consume at your own risk this is a risk oh, trust me so let's get going and uh, let it incubate for about six minutes the longest six minutes <laughs> I love my coffee so much yeah so the reason that she loves her coffee so much you know I haven't even watched the full video okay but I can tell she's under eating she's not having enough carbohydrates which actually provide proper fructose and glucose to your cells okay proper energy proper fuel not stimulation not drugs because that's what caffeine is it is a drug no one really denies that so remember that's what you're having and that's why she's needing more of it but sometimes when I'm really in a hurry I rely on instant coffee and their instant coffees are a fantastic go-to especially oh like people are just so full of it seriously fantastic go-to it's like these little packets are so environmentally damaging it's such a waste these single serve packs are like what like, why don't you learn about this before you're pushing it on to your viewers? You know, these have less than, these like packets have less than a teaspoon of the product in it. Someone was actually complaining about that on the Amazon reviews that has like less than a teaspoon in each packet. So it makes it appear like more, like you're getting more, you know, bang for your buck. You're getting more product when you're really not because if you took all of these packets out and you put it into a bottle it's just such a pitiful amount that you're getting and you're just paying for instant coffee from china that's what you're paying for you know so it's very wasteful and it's very very overpriced marketing 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 actually if you are really finicky about your coffee you know most instant coffees can kind of just taste like uh, a combination of styrofoam and glass. I recommend these. They offer the advantage of, of your instant fix, but this amazing culinary... Honestly, don't get sucked into this. It's just terrible. I, I just, I feel so bad for her viewers believing what she says and then just going out and buying it. I mean, look, more of these comments. Let's have a look at more of these. Total marketing hoax. Horrible taste. Tastes like low-grade coffee that someone soaked mushrooms in before they cleaned them. Unfortunately, this gave me in extreme intestinal discomfort, but the taste is okay. This person thought it was okay, smelled horrible, made the cabinet smell, was so stinky we couldn't even drink it. Um, you know, oh god, it's just one of the most disgusting things I've ever drank. Um, you know, Chinese mushrooms. Have a look at the one star reviews for the truth because whether they're buying reviews or not, well, you know, they're buying reviews when they pay for YouTubers to sell the product, you know, and I'm going on about this a bit because I'm just seeing YouTube just fall into this big hole of like consumerism and like and fakeness and no one is just being like honest anymore, you know, when they're, they're being bought, 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 bought. And I get, okay, I get sent these sponsorship like requests all the time every couple of days I get send requests for me to sponsor you know this protein powder or whatever like so many of them you can imagine I've been on YouTube to, since 2007 do you see me promoting food stuff at all no because I'm not a sellout okay and I was making YouTube videos before I was even making any money 
So that should tell you something about my motivation, and I haven't changed. My motivation is always to help you, the animals, and the planet. And of course, I need to make money, but I don't need to sell out in order to do so. You know, everyone has their own reasons for drinking the Four Sigmatic elixirs and coffee. She also didn't disclose that she was being sponsored for this video within the first 30 seconds. So Dr. Dre, you might want to think about that. These, for me, I keep coming back to them because they taste amazing. Okay. So the chaga elixir that I just showed you kind of has more of a rich chocolate. All right, I don't want to hear any more of this promotional lies. Don't nope. Protein powders. I don't rely on them, but they are convenient in a pinch. She's got a protein and they're not only well. as vegan. Let me just tell you, okay, you know I'm vegan. Okay, when I see a plant-based protein powder, I'm like, good. I'm happy. That's great. But you don't need it. Okay. People are just cashing in like crazy on YouTube. I can make money here. They don't care. Most of these people aren't even plant-based or vegan who are selling these products. They just see a trend. They see a trend and they're like, I'm going to jump on that and make some money while I can. You know, take advantage of people. You know, and it's just pointless. Whole plant foods, fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds. It's going to give you all the protein you could ever need. All the amino acids. Don't believe anyone when they try and tell you you need protein powder. It's just rubbish. Again, it's also gluten-free. And for those of you who hate stevia, John. So I mentioned that they're currently, Four Sigmatics is currently having their... This is, all, this is like a four-minute advertisement. The whole video, wow. Annual winter sale. Fantastic time to stock up. And if you guys click the link in my description box, you will get an additional 15% off. That's in addition to... Uh, okay, so she has an affiliate link. All right, so let, let's be like transparent about this one, Dr. Dre. She has a, up to 50% off Four Sigmatic Vigor Cell. Okay, so with she should have disclosed this actually in the description. It's part of the FTC rules that you need to disclose in the actual like description if you have an affiliate link that you are receiving a kickback. You know, you're receiving some money for each sale. That's what she's doing. That's why she's trying to get you to buy because she gets money from it. So she's not thinking like, is this going to hurt? Is this going to hurt my viewers, the lead and the acrylamides? You know, I'm thinking, why didn't she warn her viewers about the acrylamides and about the lead? It has a warning on the side of the package. They were forced to do it. They didn't do it at first, but I think they were either fined over a million dollars or... They were threatened with fining, so they had to put this, this label on. So just remember that you've got to disclose in the description that you are receiving for the affiliate. The already discounted sale price. So take advantage. I know a lot of you who watch my channel adore Four Sigmatic and rave about it frequently in the comments. Moving on, I am pretty ravenous at this point because, like I said, I worked out early this morning, so I'm assembling my breakfast. I'm just kind of dumping together some random leftovers that I have in my fridge. So She's having beans. She's having beans for breakfast. Okay, okay. If you want to have a look at some more comments, I'm just going to have them here over to the side about this Sigmatic. I've got quinoa, which... I enjoy eating actually in the morning, kind of in lieu of oatmeal, especially if I pre-prepared it. It's just super convenient. Um, I've got edamame on there for protein, and I just love anything that bright green color. And then... So you don't have to have edamame for protein. You don't have to have that, okay? It's funny that we, we have this obsession with a protein deficiency, but it's unheard of in the Western world. And even in developing countries, it is only due to a caloric deficiency. Yes, Kwashioka and Marasmus are due to caloric deficiencies, which cause a protein deficiency. You know, when these people start eating enough, it disappears. So for, for like Westerners who have this obesity epidemic, us thinking, it, like thinking about considering about a protein deficiency, you know, something of so much lack, like it's not a thing. It's not a thing. We need to stop this protein obsession. It is not even based in science. It's it's all about marketing. These people obsessed with protein who tell you to eat a lot of protein are just victims of the marketing hype. They're just being sucked right in and brainwashed. And I've thought out overnight in my fridge some of the Costco triple berry mix that comes frozen. Put that on there with a couple of heaping teaspoons of freshly ground flax seeds. Um, as well as some Brazil nuts. I, I, she just puts them carefully on the top there, doesn't she? 
I notice, you know, when I watch a few of her other videos, just got a little bit of a feel for her. It just reminded me of, she reminded me of her old, she reminded me of my old self, her behavior, okay, around food. And she has these other compulsive issues, compulsive behaviors. Like she, um, she puts on sunscreen every two hours or even less than two hours. She's always applying sunscreen. And for me, she actually looks vitamin D deficient. Dr. Dre, I would, be, I would be getting your vitamin D checked straight away, which can cause depression, graying hair, a whole lot of issues. Like I've, I've known a guy who actually had issues with vitamin D deficiency and he had depression and he had graying hair and there's other issues that can come up. It, it can be very serious, much more serious than just graying hair. That's for sure. So. I used to hate Brazil nuts, but I think I was just not getting very good quality Brazil nuts. I got these on iHerb and I've really been enjoying them. Yeah, if there's a food that you hate or hated in the past, give it the five-year rule. Like, retest it in five years and see if you still hate it. I've surprised myself. Like, I, as a child, I hated... So she's already had, like, a lot of seeds. She's already added a lot of seeds. I don't see a lot of carbohydrates. A small amount of quinoa, a tiny amount of berries. We know how much fructose and, and glucose you're going to get from that amount of berries. You just burn it up on digestion, basically. So I'm seeing a lot of fat, like, extra fat rather than extra glucose and fructose. Brussels sprouts, and now I adore them. So I just added some hemp seeds, and now I'm gonna drizzle on some black magic, as I call it. This is so good. I adore tahini at baseline, but the black sesame tahini, maybe it's all in my head. As a matter of fact, it is all in my head. I think they taste the same, but it's just a little bit. I mean, I liked, I'd like tahini as well. I definitely like tahini, but it's better to eat the whole seeds, okay? It's always better. Okay, we'll talk more about tahini. Maybe I'll make a video on tahini. I do like it, but we have some issues there. Extra, if you know what I mean. If anything, it looks kind of cool on the bowl with the green. Small... Personally, I adore tahini. I, I actually prefer it to like almond butter. I know, cringe, right? <laughs> like uh, everybody loves almond butter. <sighs> I prefer tahini and the black tahini is really good. Okay. It's amazing alongside the berries too. Is that common? Damn, that coffee, that coffee is actually bigger than her, her breakfast bowl and almost bigger than her head, I would say. And yeah, you can see that she's very, very thin and yeah, she's, I, I'm questioning how much she's eating. So I don't know how much she actually eats from what she shows either. And her energy for me is a little bit low. You know, I feel it in her voice in her actions. Yeah, she's not giving me the high energy sort of feeling and she needs her coffee. I mean, that's like, I haven't had coffee for over 15 years. You know, because I am actually eating enough, I'm getting the calories, I'm getting the carbohydrates in. I don't need this like jolt to my adrenal glands like you see almost every other YouTube having. It, having. Remember, that is a problem with their diet. Don't take dietary advice of those who are having coffee, okay? Who are addicted to caffeine. Be careful. Nation of sweet and sesame. One of my favorite candies actually. Her skin is extremely like trans translucent looking, which is another sign of anorexia. I mean, you can be a super tan anorexic as well, but this is another sign. And also, you know, she's putting on so much sunscreen that the sun, she's not getting the vitamin D. She's like deflecting it all the time. The sun is not going to kill you, okay? The sun isn't like out there like trying to kill you all the time. It's all right. It's your diet which makes an impact on the sun's impact, okay, if that makes sense. So, you know, she has to stop slathering herself and actually get some vitamin D or she's going to be suffering problems, which she probably already is from a lack of vitamin D. Um, I do follow a vegan diet, so I, of course, supplement my diet with B12. Um, and uh, let me just stop that as well. Stop there. Okay, that's just kind of unnecessarily fearing people by saying, I do follow a vegan diet, vegan lifestyle, so I need to supplement. No, everybody needs to supplement B12, okay? This is not an exclusively vegan thing. It's not, okay? So you need to do your research. I talked about it in another video. Maybe I'll link that below in the description. This is not at all an exclusively vegan thing. You know, it's just a big old mess that humans have created for ourselves as usual.
and I try and get that in in the morning. If I forget, then I definitely take it at nighttime. I am currently using this one that is sublingual, so you just... She's, yeah, she's very, very thin. Without multitasking and checking email. Of course, you can be slim and not having an eating disorder, but she's displaying a lot of things which uh, concern me, okay? And I had a little bit of a look at her other what I eat in a day, like just a little bit of the first bit, and she's she's actually putting a squash or something like that into her breakfast, and she says to bulk it up, which means she's watching her calories. She doesn't, doesn't want to eat too much. She doesn't want to gain weight. As you can see, she is very fine, very fine looking, her structure. <laughs> So her breakfast is really deficient in fructose and glucose, and it's not high in calories either. It's not the best start to the day. It's plant-based, so I think that's great. But I want to keep people vegan, okay? I mean, like, you can't go back from being vegan, but I want to keep them eating a plant-based diet. And that's why I also, you know, educate about ethics as well. But there is a dietary aspect of the vegan lifestyle, and we need to talk about that because if you're feeling crap, if you're not getting enough energy, these are the sort of people who make these why I'm no longer vegan videos, okay, that Brianna just made. So we've got to try and minimize that. So we need to learn about how the human body and brain actually functions, you know, and feed it correctly. So she could do much better with that breakfast and whether she ate it all, I highly doubt it. So this isn't a personal attack on her or anything like that. I don't know her, but this is just purely an observation of her behavior and my own experience thinking back to when I was actually anorexic. So one of my behaviors was I would chew food up. I would chew it, chew it, chew it until it was completely, you know, I was getting all the like, you know, the goodness out of it, getting all the goodness. And then I would spit the rest into the bin. So I would chew the food up a lot. I would chew it, chew it, chew it, and then I would spit in the bin. And sometimes I would even get, get the spat food out of the bin and re-chew on it. And this is obviously a problem, okay? You don't have to be like this. I didn't have to be like that, but I was uneducated. So I dedicated my life basically to learning about nutrition and about how the human body works. And I have been doing so for at least the last 20 years. So yeah, we don't have to live like this. And this, like I said, is gonna sustain me until lunchtime. Today I got lunch in the cafeteria. Okay, so we are on to lunch. That looks very dry to me. It looks very plain and dry, raw vegetables, okay, a salad. Here, yeah, I had a huge salad with uh, spinach and there's some mixed greens, greens buried down in there, tofu. Uh, shredded carrots, cucumber, I also mixed in some black beans and some hummus, topped it with some sunflower seeds. They had some butter, uh, roasted butternut squash and this like. So, okay, she's got like, she's got some calories there. She's got a salad, she got some butternut squash and probably a little bit more calories, some sunflower seeds. It's still not big, it's probably around maximum 400 calories or so for this lunch. I got an apple and y'all know I love my saltines so I got a so she got one apple there okay um obviously that's not enough a packet of saltines and they have these little salsa uh, packets that aren't too too horrible I like to put those on the tofu because uh, the tofu they have is just plain like it's not seasoned or anything so it can be it can be pretty bland. Like, I always feel the need to tell... Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, that is the thing with tofu. I'm supportive of tofu, and I eat it myself because it is a plant food, and, you know, it can be kind of, you know, interesting texture. But it, when it's plain, when it's unseasoned, it tastes like nothing. It pretty much tastes like nothing, so you have to season it. The beauty of fruit is you don't have to have a season it. It just comes packed in the perfect package. You know, oxygen hasn't even hit the contents of the food. Nothing has spoiled it. You know, the flavor is all there and it is created by nature and it is perfectly suited for your frugivore genetics. So that's something to remember about these foods that you have to season a lot. You know, is it optimal? You're not gonna get a lot of glucose and fructose, which is what your body runs on. People who are staring, uh apprehensively at the tofu like put something on that otherwise you're going to hate tofu for life if you just eat it that way because <laughs> uh, it's not flavored or anything 
But yeah, I love tofu um, and I eat it frequently, probably daily. But she says she loves tofu, but then she said that it tastes like nothing when you don't have anything on it. So you really just love the salsa dressing. You know, if we're really honest with ourselves, we love the salty, sugary dressing. Really, if not every other day. It's just really good. So for dinner tonight, I actually had a meeting to go to. To start out, I had um, a tomato salad, and then for dinner, I had this wonderful pasta. The pasta was... Okay, so, you know, it looks like a reasonable serve, okay? By this point, she's probably had about, like, I don't know, around, around about 1,500 calories or so. If she actually ate what she showed, I question that highly because of her appearance and because of these habits that she had. There's a lot more going on here than meets the eye and the fact that she's having massive cups of coffee. I don't know, she probably had even more coffee during the day. She might be just running on coffee at this point. So did she really eat this pasta? Did she really eat? That, that is the question. Uh, nighttime, I'm gonna unwind with something sweet. Okay, so she's got to the end of the day and she needs something sweet, all right? And this is so predictable because during the day, she just didn't get enough carbohydrates. You know, she didn't get enough carbohydrates. She didn't get enough fruit, a very low fruit intake. That's not healthy, okay? Very low fruit intake and uh, higher fat intake, which is not gonna do it any favors. You know, focusing on protein and getting in good fats before the glucose and the fructose is ridiculous. You know, like you're not focusing on your number one fuel. So, yeah, I'm not surprised that she needs something sweet now. I like getting pitted dates and stuffing a raw almond inside. It's a perfect snack, sweet treat, dessert. It is nice. It's really satisfying. If you have a sweet tooth and you're looking for something to satisfy it, I, I recommend. Okay, let, let's just be, let's just be um, real here. Everybody has a sweet tooth. Every human is a frugivore and frugivores naturally have a sweet tooth because we are meant to eat large quantities of fruit. That's just how it is. Not many people like to hear that. They just want to slab in the tahini and the peanut butter and all that all day and not eat fruit at all. I get it, okay? I get it that there's a lot of crappy fruit available in supermarkets, but that's why we, we have to change that by changing our own diet, okay? And making people more aware of how to grow fruit, growing fruit ourselves, you know, supporting farmers, all of that stuff, you know? So we need to be conscious of that. Those of you in the UK, the stuff a little Marmite in there. It is good <laughs> if you're a Marmite. Oh no, Marmite is like Vegemite. Don't put that in the date. Please do not do that. Ooh. Little yuck. And comment below. I really enjoy it. Things British. Um, that's where I get my more money. Okay, from. so she's back on the Four Sigmatic Addict Mushroom Cacao Mix this time. So, wow, this is like a huge ad, this, this video. So she's got Rishi Mushroom in there. Cacao before bed is like, what are you doing? It's a stimulant, okay? If you're having a stimulant like cacao, it's like caffeine. That's theobromine. It's going to be a stimulant for you and it's going to affect your sleep negatively. It's not a good idea. Um, uh, I love finishing the evening with a hot beverage. Okay, so I'm not going to go any more with this, but I'm sure she has sleeping issues at this point because what she's doing is she under eating. She's under eating on carbohydrates and calories in general, but carbohydrates in particular are going to help you sleep well because that is your number one fuel source. So if you're not getting an abundance of it, if you're not getting enough of it, then the brain is going to keep you awake searching for more food. That's essentially what happens. And what people do is they get low in energy because they didn't sleep well, they get low in energy, then they have the coffee, Okay, they have the caffeine and then it sends them up and down their energy levels and by the end of the day, they're exhausted but they can't sleep because they've got this stimulation. So it's, it's a really bad cycle. So if you want a lifestyle that's actually healthy, going to get you lean long term, Dr. Dre, you do not have to starve yourself. You do not have to starve yourself on a vegan lifestyle, okay? Just have as much as you care for, as much as you care for when it comes to carbohydrates and you're going to get slim. As you can see, I am and I've lost 20 kilos on this lifestyle, kept the weight off for a decade. So definitely check out my ebooks. The link is in the description below. You can have a look at the Ultimate Weight Loss ebook, ebook bundle. And this is a lifestyle that is only, it's going to keep you satisfied for life and you don't have to 
restrict, 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 because this is what she's doing. She's restricting, taking drugs, restricting. It's obviously not healthy. So let's do a round up here. I'm not happy at all to see the sigmatic addicts everywhere. Pretending it's like the best thing ever, but then you see these honest Amazon reviews, people are saying it tastes terrible and it's just instant coffee from China. It's just good marketing, very good marketing. Like they take money from these companies, which is essentially a drug company, and they push their products and they don't even research, you know, the acrylamides, the lead, they don't even research the problems involved that people may you know suffer as a result of consuming these drugs and with the additives and with like the processing of it because the processing of the beans makes it burnt and then you are ingesting that burnt bean you know substance basically so it's not healthy so when your favorite youtuber pushes these products on you be very very wary and they're bad for the environment these single use they're bad for your health you know, it's extremely irresponsible. And she obviously, for me, I would say she has definitely got an eating issue, eating disorder. Um, she reminds me of my old self when I had anorexia. Um, Dr. Dre, I'd be very concerned about your vitamin D levels. I'd be getting it checked. Um, using a laxative, um, calm, using this calm to try and get her bowels moving because she's got not getting enough fiber, not getting enough carbohydrates. So the bowels are not moving. There's simply not enough bulk coming through the colon for it to move properly. So yeah, that is my, that is my take home on Dr. Dre's what I ate in a work day. It's good that it's plant-based, but if she keeps eating the way she's eating or not eating, she's going to be making these why I'm no longer vegan videos as well. Or she just won't say anything and she'll just start eating other stuff. Please don't starve yourself. It's unnecessary. It ends up hurting animals long term because you, you're, not, you're unsatisfied eating plants and then you end up going back to eating your friends and that's never okay. All right, that's my video for today. Let me know in the comments below who you want me to respond to next and I will see you soon.